Very simple video today, just that tiny issue of finding your life vision and your life purpose. So that's what we're going to talk about here. And this is a question. It says, hi, David, how can I find out my life or my, the purpose of my life? I'm 23 years old. There's our starting point. OK, I'm just going to <clears throat> say something a few times in this video, probably. And it's that this is a process it takes a bit of time. OK, we're talking years. <laughs> so if you're 23 and you don't know what your life purpose is, that's completely natural. It's the way it's supposed to be. But I've been uh, I've been to college and I'm looking into um, looking to find work. But even after studying for years in college, I feel zero motivation when I think about the type of work I'll be doing. I know I have to make a living. Sure, absolutely. But shouldn't I feel some genuine excitement? Is there something wrong with this? I see my friends progressing into employment, but I only feel underwhelmed and pretty depressed, if I'm honest. So there's that thing there about, of course, we all need to find a way to uh, support ourselves in life. And it's like more and more complicated now than it's ever been. We have way more freedom and choice. And on one hand, that's a great thing. On the other hand, it complicates things a lot because there's no certainty or guarantee out there in terms of how am I actually going to make a living? So much complexity. Things are not the way they were in our parents or certainly our grandparents era. They've improved in some ways, but in, in a lot of ways they've become a lot more overwhelming, sophisticated, nuanced, complicated. And the nervous system doesn't like complication. But I'm gonna make this kind of simple, I hope. The first step in finding your purpose is that it must flow directly out of your own character and out of your own nature. Okay. Now that sounds a little bit wishy-washy, but I want to, to say that is the opposite of wishy-washy. It is. What I'm saying here is your own character, your own nature on a very visceral, real level. So in other words, if you're looking for purpose, if you're looking for meaning, if you're looking for the vision of your life, who are you? And I mean that in terms of what are you all about? What is it that you want? What is it that you care about? What is it, what is it that kind of moves you on an emotional level? And to get in touch with that part of yourself and to find ways to let that part of yourself be expressed. And that ties up maybe, maybe in, in your career. But it's this life purpose thing is coming directly out of who you already are. It's not something that needs to be manipulated or contrived or brought about. It's already there. Knowing who you are is really another way of saying Underneath all that conditioning that we have from, from, from early age in life, where the nervous system learns all these rules about how to keep itself safe and it becomes a kind of a, it develops all these sub personalities that please people and uh, live up to expectations from, from external sources. Underneath that, there is an authentic personality. That's what I mean about finding out who you are. And what is it that that personality responds to? Here's something to think about. If you're noticing that there are things in your life that you're frequently being drawn to that have nothing to do with survival, okay? Paying bills, for instance. There's something there, okay? That's kind of probably where you're going to find some kind of sense of purpose or vision for your life. So the personality we have to begin with, we're born with. Okay, that's there from day one. It's like eye color, it's like height, it's like anything else like that, right? We all have a personality. And that personality is drawn to do certain things. It, it is there for a purpose. And our job is to make the nervous system feel safe enough so that that nervous system has an opportunity to come out and express itself more and more. When you do that, that's called purpose, okay? Now, I want you to realize you're 23 and even if you're 43 or 53, right? Some people are still grappling with this issue. In other words, don't beat yourself up just because you don't have this visceral sense of purpose or vision for your life. The truth is that that takes a long time. It takes years often to kind of develop that, that sense of, of purpose. And often it's like you, there is something to be said for 
when you don't have this figured out yet for experimenting and trying different things. You try things, you see how it fits, you do experiments, that didn't work, I'm gonna do something else. It can take many iterations of attempts before you begin to fall into a sense of what my purpose is. Three, four things you could try. There's a lot to be said for just experimenting and not waiting, you know, doing this inner work all the time, waiting for this perfect vision to show up in your life. That's rarely how it works. And also, I think when you find your purpose, it's not like the things that you do from that moment on in your life are always going to be the same thing. Now here's my purpose and this is what I do. It's more about, I know who I am. I know what excites me. I'm doing this. But this thing that I'm doing will probably change, okay, from time to time. But your purpose remains the same underneath it all. You know what it is you care about, what it is you want to do, maybe what you want to achieve or the impact you want to make on people. So don't get stuck in waiting for this perfect vision. But practically, in terms of inner work that you can start to do to cultivate this is to just very simply sit down and think about what is the dream life for me? What does that look like? And what you're going to notice is your nervous system is going to come up and it's going to say, that's impossible, that'll never happen. Okay, And allow your nervous system to do that. But what we want to do is just to start to cultivate that, that vision to realize that there is something authentic in you that wants to come out and express itself. And over time, convince the nervous system that it's actually safe to go and um, proactively go after that thing that you're interested in or that drives you. So picture in your perfect life, allow yourself to be unrealistic and allow your nervous system to have all its complaints and all its you know realism and uh, pragmatism around that. And it's some kind of a, an inner, a reconciliation between those parts of yourself. It's not to ignore or that your, your, your nervous system, which is, it has no interest in what your, your purpose in life is. It's not to let the nervous system drown that out so that it never gets a, shine, a, a place to come up and express itself or be explored. Okay? We, we want to respect the nervous system, which wants to keep us safe, primarily, and work with it, not against it. And over time... Your, your sense of purpose will become more and more clear to you, okay? You'll start to engage in things, you'll feel more genuine excitement. The fact right now that you don't feel excited is okay, right? It's just that you're on a, a pathway to, to uncovering what your purpose is. It's not something that you have, it's certainly not something you need to sit down and plan and think about intellectually because that's not it. It involves all of this, sense, finding a sense of purpose involves a kind of a, an ability to feel into it, okay? What is it that wants to come up? What is it that you're all about? What is it that excites you and makes you feel alive when you think about it? And that's not something that you can be, you can be kind of logically, sequentially taught through um, purely with the intellect. So give yourself a break and realize this is a, a slow process that takes time. And uh, let me know if that was any use. I hope it was. I was there's a lot to this, you know. But I hope that's kind of going to point you in the right direction and uh, make you feel like it's okay right now to not have that sense of purpose and uh, that it's, it comes in time. Take care and I'll talk to you guys again soon.